Hello guys, in this video I am going to explain about how to install the Apache server and how to host our own website by using AWS Amazon Linux. Okay, so now uh, I am going to explain about one by one. So first of all we need an AWS account so then only we can create the server, we can host our websites and all. So now what I will do, let me log into this uh, AWS console. Okay, already I have an account. Maybe uh, you are not having any accounts. So first, you need to create a one free trial account. So now let me log into the AWS account. So let me sign in. Okay. So now we are going to host our own website. Okay. So first we need a server so now i'm going to sign into the easy to instance easy to server so let me go to the instance the left side you can get the option like instance so here we can create the instance okay here we can use the instance okay we can get all the instance details but as of now what i'll do let me launch one amazon linux instance actually in this aws provided plenty of uh, os okay like uh, windows uh, Linux, Ubuntu kind of things and uh, Red Hat, so like that. Okay, if you want, you can use it. But as of now, I'm going to create one uh, server. Okay, Apache server. So let's just say I'm going to make a name Apache server. Okay, Apache server. So here, what I'll do? Let me select the Amazon Linux. Okay. So here in this Amazon Linux, we have so many versions are there. Okay. So if you want, you can use any one. But as of now, I'm going to select Amazon Linux too. So then uh, we need to select the hardware configuration for your server. So uh, it it uh, it completely depends on your uh, server. Okay. Maybe if you are going to select in uh, any other hardware instance type, then you can uh, your server performance will be very slow, very uh, fast so it's completely your server performance completely depends on your hardware configuration but as of now this is a free tier t2 uh, micro is one of t2 uh, micro is one leader free tier maybe if you want you can use any other kind of hardware configuration so here we have uh, so many uh, families are there t2 t3 r5 like that okay so if you want you can use it here we need to select the key pair so uh, whenever you are going to create a windows instance that time we need a dot pem file whenever you are going to create a linux instance that time we need a dot ppk format so let me create a keeper okay just i'm going to make a web like that okay keeper name is web and here i'm going to select a ppk format because this is our linux instance so that is the reason i'm going to select the ppk format okay maybe if you are going to launch a windows instance that time you can go with the first two option let me click on create a keeper then it will automatically create okay automatically stored in your uh, local machine okay then we can use now what i'll do let me uh, come down okay here uh, we have a security group and auto and public and everything it's already enabled so now i'm going to directly create a uh, launch instance click on launch instance where then it it's uh, uh, start to creating yeah it's showing success now let me go to the dashboard so here we can uh, get the option like apache we can able to see the uh, server apache server as of now status is bending so once the status is show, showing uh, like uh, running so the next one status check here the server is showing like a two bar two checks passed when it's showing two bar two checks passed, then only we can understand okay our server is there is no problem successfully installed right like that okay but as of now it start to running so please be wait then only we can get the um, successful message two bar two checks passed so here when you click on the server apache server here we can get the all the details of your server uh, like um, uh, details security networking storage status check everything so under the details we can get the public ip private ip it's running or not and the public ip version 4 private ip version 4 uh, which uh, instance type already we have selected elastic ip it's assigned or not so vpc everything we can get here I, what is the ami id it's windows or linux everything we can get under the security we can get the security group details okay so a particular port number particular protocol maybe if you are going to allow the your security group, then you can go there security under the security you can get the security group so networking so here you can select the networking kind of things network in the sense of public IP, private IP, VPC. Okay, so like that we can get the option storage. Under the storage, we can get the 
storage details okay what your hard disk details okay so statistic at the asap no status statistic is initializing so now let me refresh okay it's initializing Okay, so now we have a public IP and the private IP. Now what I'll do, let me connect the remote. So how to connect the Amazon Linux actually? We have two options. One is we can connect through the putty. Another one is directly we can connect. Okay, so when you, close, when you go click on uh, like uh, connect option. So inside you can directly uh, connect your uh, EC2 server. But I am going to uh, use the putty. So now let me, uh, con let me copy the public IP. Okay, so then I'm going to open the putty. Okay, already we have a keeper. So let me paste it here. The left side, you can get the option like connection. Under the connection, we can go SSH. Here, we can get the option authentication. So this authentication page, we need to select our ID. Okay, we need to select our keeper ID. So let me select, this is a web.ppk format. Let me select it, open. So now my server is open. Let me accept. So here, what I'll do, login. Login name is easy to hyphen user. Okay. Why we need to log in easy to hyphen user? Because this is Amazon Linux. Whenever you are going to log in your Amazon Linux uh, server, that time you need to give a easy to hyphen user as a username. Okay. Login as. Maybe if you are going to select any Ubuntu, any other kind of things, that time your, your login ID and your login name will be different. So now let me take enter. Now Amazon Linux. Now I'm going to uh, switch to another user, sudo su. Okay, sudo su. So let me run the command here. As of now, we are in root. So now what I'll do, uh, this is our Apache, this is our uh, Linux server. Now I'm going to install the Apache. So whenever you're going to install the Apache, the command will be m install httpd. This is the command m install httpd. So now I'm going to continue. So that's why I'm give yes. We are completed. Now, uh, HTTPD is installed. Okay, dependencies installed. HTTPD also installed. So, how to check it? It's installed or not? Now, what we need to do? We need to run the command systemctl. Okay, systemctl status HTTPD. We need to check the status of HTTPD. HTTPD is an Apache server. So, let me run the command. But it's showing HTTPD service. But loaded it. Loaded also showing, but uh, active. Okay, current status is inactive. Inactive means what we need to do? We need to change inactive to active. How to change it? So here we need to run the one more command. System CTL start the server. As, as of now, service is installed, but uh, service the status is stopped. Now what I'll do? Let me start the service. Let me start the service. System CTL start HTTPD. Now again I'm going to check the uh, status of HTTPD. Now it's showing active. Now it's showing active. Now, uh, so now I'm going to run the one more command. Enable HTTPD. Enable HTTPD in the sense. Okay whenever you are going to run this command. Maybe your server uh, going to uh, shut down or reboot. Okay anything happened in your server. So anytime your server will be active, anytime your service will be active, HTTP service will be active. Okay, even your server will be shut down, your server will be re uh, reboot. So then only your HTTP service anytime active once you run the command. Okay, after the run the command, your uh, HTTP service anytime active. Okay, so let me run the command system CTL enable HTTP. Okay, now uh, what I'll do, go to the Apache server. Here I'm going to open the protocol and the port number the reason is this is our uh, web page okay web server so that is the reason uh, i'm going to select i'm going to enable the particular port number and the protocol so whenever you are going to uh, i mean whenever you are going to host any website kind of things any website that time we need to we need to add a rule the rule number is http sorry the rule protocol protocol is http port number is 80 here we need to select the source okay so now let me click on save rules now rules is saved now go to the apache server here let me copy the public ip so paste it in this uh, browser now we can get the output okay so this is our test page okay this is our apache test page i don't want this test page i want a customized one so how to host it a customized one 
So here, what we need to do, go inside of server, we need to change the directory. As of now, we are in root. As of now, we are in the easy to hyphen user. I am going to change the directory. So here, this is the default path of httpd web page. This is the default path of httpd web page. I don't want a default page. Instead of in this one, I want to customize the one. Okay, so that is the reason I am going to copy the path. Copy the path, go inside of server. Here, I am going to change the directory. So now I'm going to switch this directory. This is our default path. Go inside. Inside the directory, already we have a test page is there. I don't want a test page. I want a, our own page. So that is the reason I'm going to create a one file. File name will be touch index.html. Touch command is whenever you are going to create any kind of file, that time we need to run the command touch and we need to give the file name HTML. So index.html. Now let me check LL long list. Now we can get the index.html file. Let me open the index.html. So the command will be vim index.html. Okay. Vim index.html. So let me open. So here what we need to do. So here uh, inside the file we need to copy the content. Uh, first we need to copy then we need to paste it. So I have a HTML file. So let me copy the HTML file content. So this is index.html. Let me open. Okay. So here what we need to do. Let me copy all the content. This is our HTML page content. Okay. So now go inside of server here. Uh, whenever you are going to write any file, whenever you are going to uh, write any content that time you need to press the button called insert button, then only you can write here. So let me paste it here. Now I am going to save this file. The save format is whenever you are going to save any file of uh, Linux server, that time you need to press the uh, escape button, then semicolon, wq, then only you can save. So now file is saved. Okay, file is saved. Now let me go to the test page okay here let me refresh as of now we are in our customized one okay we have a customized web page okay but just before we have a test page is there but i don't want a test page i want a customized one so that customized one already i have a uh, file is there in in my local machine so that local machine i'll, I'll co copy the content then uh, inside the server we need to paste it we index.html so instead of uh, test page, okay, instead of default web page, now we have a our old, I mean our own web page is there. So this is what we need to host our website. Okay, we need to create the Apache server. So Apache server command is very simple. First we need to uh, run the command m install httpd. So then it, it will automatically uh, create, it, it will automatically install. Then only we can move the system CTL, start the command, the status command, enable command. So then we can get the default web page. Okay. So it's look like a IAS. Actually, whenever you are going to uh, create any kind of website, okay, for your Windows, that time we can go with the cons, we can go with the concept called IAS, Internet Information Services. Whenever you are going to create any kind of uh, application, any kind of website, that time we need to go with the Linux server. So that Linux server, we need to install the Apache HTTP web page. So this is the HTTP web page. Okay, guys, so that's all. Okay, this is the very, very simple. Uh, how to create a web server and how to, uh, I mean, how to create an Apache web server and how to uh, make our own websites and all. So this is what we conveyed. Okay. So that's all.